wonderful good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Chris from Vocal Covers, and today we're taking a look onto the new song from Emure called I've Seen God. So, Emure were always a kind of polarizing band. I mean, you like them or you hate them, um, which basically helped them get a lot of popularity. And therefore, I thought, let's try it with this new song because I think they haven't released some kind of material for a long time. So, I'm kind of curious how that looks like. So, well, let's dive straight into it. Oh, yeah. I have seen God. Typical Emure. Yeah. Dig it so far. Imagine this being played live. This is so much energy. Really simple. Now I'm curious. What comes next? After breakdown. Another breakdown? Come on. Okay. Okay. What was that? <laughs> they have they have only used the first string. Did they even change flat on the first string? No, they didn't change any fret yet. So we still have binary taps with zero. Don't tell me the video is over now. Don't tell me that. Oh, what the fuck? Hindsight is 2020. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, what exactly was that? This actually has like a teaser format. It means, um, is this some kind of teaser for an upcoming music or for their style change or something. It's very kind of strange. And very, very cool is that they didn't even change the frets. They used only their first string, which is typical for a Muir, but they didn't even use first, second, third, fourth, and so on frets. So they only played on the first string, which is great. That's a Muir. That's a Muir. You gotta be cliche. And they're fulfilling the cliche, which is cool. Um, so my review to the song, um, to be honest, for me, that's not really a song. It more seems, as I've said, like a teaser. It's yeah, typical immure, but I don't know if I dig it or not, to be honest. It's like just playing on the first string and what... What, what were these vocals all about that, that he's sung there? Thoughts collapsing. I both see M. God, my or even witness suffering. Say, stick to your guns, stray from the path. Oh, he's dissing other artists or he's calling them out. So there's stick to your guns. There's stray from the path. There's Attila. There's knocked loose. There's nasty. There is there are this murder. There is nails. There is ice nine kills. What is ice in my brain? I don't know. Oh, and fit for a king. Okay, but I hope, I hope that he or they don't bring this fucking shitty attitude of pissing other people in diss tracks into metal because I don't like that at all. It's it's something that I really don't like about the hip-hop subgenre that you're actually making a track just to diss another artist. 
which is a cool marketing gag and everything like Eminem did with, or Machine Gun Kelly did with Eminem. But do we, is this really necessary? Come on, there's so many things, so many smarter things you can sing about, in my opinion. You can sing about hard times and overcome these. You can sing about a broken love. Of course, broken love is also a little bit cliche, but you can help other people getting out of bad situations with your music. Obviously, this is a subjective. So you got to decide for yourself, what is the mission of my music? What do I want to do with my music? This is actually the most important statement that you got to ask yourself when being a musician. Why am I doing this music? Actually, for me, it's I want to help people overcome the difficulties with themselves or others and emerge as a stronger being. But uh, I, I don't fully understand it, but it's okay. Let's see what... What other music Mu brings out and probably, probably we can do another reaction video then with a little bit more content, a little bit of more information. Until then, thank you very much for watching this. And well, tell me your opinions in the comments below. What do you think about Mu? What do you think about the whole stuff about dissing other people, dissing other artists um, or calling them out? And I'm really curious about your opinion and well, See you until then. Goodbye.